Four weeks ago, I carried out an experiment where I stayed in a St. Ives car park overnight when camping was prohibited. The plan was to spend my money at the local businesses instead of staying in an expensive Airbnb owned by non-locals to the area. I even got the attention of the local media. And tonight, I've returned to the scene of the crime, St. Ives, to pay my dues first thing tomorrow. But I'm gonna do things a little differently. And all will be revealed in the morning. So I'll see you then. Good night. So you know, when I said I wanted to do something different today by paying my ticket, I mean it in a complete positive way. I didn't actually get a parking ticket. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the money that I would have paid on a parking ticket and donate it to the local food bank. Now I have actually found a food bank. It's called the St. Ives Food Bank and there's a telephone number here. So I'm gonna give them a call and find out exactly what they need before I go shopping. Hi, is that Chris? Thank you. Hi Chris, um, I'm looking at donating some food to the food bank. Um, oh, yeah. I was just wondering if I could get a list of what you need and uh, and where to drop it off to really. Uh, we're only open, uh, unfortunately, between nine, 9 and 1 o'clock on a Thursday. Right, okay. Well, that's fine. If that works. Yeah, it's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that, that's fine because I can, I can get it dropped off today, so. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, and anything that you need in particular? Tinned meat products, tuna, sugar is always running out. Um, yeah. Milk's always running out. UHT milk, uh, tinned custards. Custard? Um, yeah, we're all, always okay for beans and pasta. Uh, that's the only thing that we don't really need. Any, anything else is a, is a great help. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Right, well, okay. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right. It started raining really badly then. I'm all fogged up. <laughs> oh god, that rain just came out of nowhere. Alright, well, let's go shopping. Hi, is it Chris? Um, it's, it's Roger. Oh, Roger, it's, it's hello. The okay, yeah. I've got some food to bring in. Oh, right. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone earlier, so... Yeah. I'm parked there. Right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know which UHC, so I just got there. No, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Excuse me, I'm made bed. <laughs> Right, well that's my good deed for the day done. So it turns out 2.5% of UK residents use food banks at some point. That was the figure for 2019-2020. No doubt, 2022, that percentage is going to be a lot higher. If you are struggling at the moment and you, you feel like you need to use a food bank, don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed, just, just get down there. They're, 
you know, they're there for people. And if you're wondering how to find a food bank in your local area, you can actually visit the website, foodbankfinder.org.uk. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the description below. Or if you're somebody that has a little bit of disposable income and you want to do something good, that felt really good today. The only reason why I could afford to do that is because I put the money back just in case I got a parking ticket. But knowing my luck, I'll probably get one anyway now. So I appreciate that this video is a little bit different to what I normally make. The camping videos will be back next week. I just really needed to do this today. Hey, the sun's coming out.